All right, first thing, you wanna go ahead and lube up the pin. Go ahead and lube up the small end of the rod. Put like a good impact grease. Don't use like a WD-40. Uh, it's not really sufficient enough to coat after it starts making tight contact. So just put everything, nice little layer of grease on everything through here. Girlfriend wonders, how did you learn how to do that with your fingers? I'm gonna give it like a human hair almost out of the little clip. So put it in there, line it up. Now this is not easy to hold in place with your fingers. It will test the strongest of fingers out there. So again, line it up here. See if I can do this in one take, the true test. Flathead has been modified at the tip with a little base edge. Again, try to round the edges off so you don't scuff anything. This is what actually gets in the C-clip. I don't think it'll work like that on these. All right, good. There we go. Now that we're pried up, go ahead and use your finger to push it in. Again, we got a two-step on this one. <laughs> it literally went halfway for us. I guess it knew we were filming. Push down on this lip. I don't know why I said leb in the other video. I'm a retarded trying to explain this. But we heard the snap. That means we're set. Let's go ahead and spin this. All right. We're locked in. Our tang is on the intake side. The bigger buffer leaf opposed to the exhaust tang.